We have all seen the headlines. Cows are causing climate change. Crops are ruining the soil. GMOs are bad for you. And that's just to name a few. There is no shortage of criticism for the agriculture industry, but one of the areas that receives the most attention is the interaction between agriculture practices and the environment. Hi, I'm Melissa from Southland Organics, where we are committed to doing our part to bridge the gap between agriculture producers and consumers to strengthen understanding and acceptance of the agriculture industry. Learn more at southlandorganics.com. The landscape of production agriculture has changed tremendously over the last century. We've morphed from a system of local trading and neighborly sharing to a commercial industry with a yearly contribution of more than a trillion dollars to the U.S. economy alone. This change has allowed producers to continue to provide a sustainable food supply for the growing world population, but feeding the world has its challenges. One key challenge for the agriculture sector has been maintaining the delicate balance between meeting this demand while reducing environmental impacts to allow future generations the same opportunity. At its core, this means being a good steward of the environment, conserving resources when possible, using chemical interventions judiciously, and preserving the land being used. Coincidentally, most public criticism is centered around those same ideas. Things like level of water usage, dangers of chemical runoff, and decreasing biodiversity in the soil lead the conversation. It makes you wonder, what are farmers and the agriculture industry doing to address these things? Take water, for instance. Production agriculture accounts for more than 70% of the freshwater usage in the world. To put that into perspective, it takes about one and a half tons of water to produce one kilogram of grain things like oats, wheat, rye, and rice. It takes about 15 tons of water to produce one kilogram of beef. There's no denying that this amount of water usage is significant and can prompt some justified concerns about water table depletion, leading to water scarcity and inavailability. But the important thing to remember is that when water becomes unavailable to you and me, it also becomes unavailable to the farmers. That would mean no irrigation for countless acres of row crops or drinking water for thousands of livestock animals. So it stands to reason that farmers would want to do their part to preserve available water sources just as much as we do. The same logic can be applied to the land. A farm is only as productive as its land allows. Soil that's nutrient depleted and lacks biodiversity will underperform every single time when compared to well-managed farmland. For quite some time, this was encouragement for producers to douse their crops with fertilizers and other chemical interventions. But even that has proven concerning and prompted regulation and industry-wide changes. Luckily, the agriculture industry is filled with individuals who are taking on the immense task of mastering our ability to rely on the environment while also respecting it. That goal gets more attainable every day due to changes in legislation and advancing technologies. Over the years, regulatory agencies have developed in response to concerns over environmental impacts. The Soil Conservation Service, for instance, was founded in 1935 in response to land misuse, which led to the Dust Bowl. This agency was responsible for legislation such as the National Environmental Policy Act, the Clean Water Act, and the Soil and Water Resource Conservation Act. It was renamed the Natural Resource Conservation Service in 1994. In 1970, the Nixon administration founded the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, in response to growing concerns about pollution in city air and water sources. Today, these two agencies, along with the Department of Agriculture, are responsible for most of the regulations which govern the interaction between agriculture and the environment. Along with regulatory action, incredible advances in technology have allowed commercial farms to be more conservative in their approach to production. Things as simple as crop rotation and rotational grazing have revolutionized soil conservation. Precision agriculture is making it possible to more judiciously apply things like irrigation, fertilizers, and pesticides, as well as more effectively assess the need for intensive tilling. Genetic selection of seeds has produced crops that require less water in times of drought, are resistant to common pests, and are more productive with less input. These changes have allowed producers to not only grow food products more efficiently, but also become more effective stewards of their environment. All too often, we confuse the agriculture industry's use of natural resources as abuse. The reality is that without these key resources, clean air, flowing water, and fertile land, there is no agriculture. The level of production needed to sustain our growing population will not be possible without land capable of carrying that load which is why agriculturalists of all kinds, whether they're farmers, ranchers, policymakers, or researchers, have no choice but to improve. It's what's in their best interest too. 
the agriculture industry operates much more sustainably than we could have imagined 40 years ago. Thanks to decades of dedication, environmental conservation in the industry will continue to improve so that future generations can enjoy the same luxuries that we do. So while there's still improvements to be made, and likely always will be, we should be proud of how far we've come and look forward to the improvements that we've yet to see. As always, we are so happy that you're here and that we have the opportunity to share with you. If you ever have any questions, you can reach me at alyssa at southlandorganics.com. If you want to stay up to date on all of our content, subscribe to this channel below and follow us on social media at Southland Organics. Thanks for watching.